This right here, hope. H O P E, hope. It's what people need more than anything. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, chapter 13 of 1 Corinthians, Paul says there are three things that abide faith, hope, and love. And I want you to stay tuned in 2024 because we're going to be teaching about faith, hope, and love. We're going to teach you the principles of faith. God said to me, go teach my people faith. We're going to teach you the love walk. Whether we're walking on the high line in New York, wherever we are, teaching on the love walk, how to walk in the love of God. Hallelujah, because that brings you victory. And the blessed hope, which is the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the soon appearing, nearing, revelation, blessed appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some people call it the rapture. Some people call it the resurrection. Some people call it the second coming. But Jesus is coming. So our hope comes from the fact that the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace is going to come and finally bring peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Hallelujah. Our victory, our answer does not come from dope or from the Pope or from religion. No, it comes from hope. And the only source of hope in a world that sometimes seems hopeless. The only source of real hope is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope beyond the grave that when you close your eyes in death and tick tock your ticker quits ticking forever, you have hope of an afterlife. There is life after death. There is life on other planets. Hello, heaven. <laughs> there is hope beyond the grave. And this hope gives us joy, faith, hope, and love. Amen and amen.